We start with breaking news on Wall Street, and yeah, it's pretty bad. A major slide on Wall Street. The stock market taking another steep plunge. The Dow plummeting more than 1,000 points. Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, and Meta losing a combined $250 billion in market cap. The stock market, it gives and it takes. But lately, it's been doing more taking. Your 401k? Decimated. Gains on your IRA? Erased. Your stock portfolio? Crushed. Fatality. You feel hopeless. Every day, you watch your account value drop lower. You've had enough. Time to sell everything. Pack your bags and call it quits. Or maybe not. Perhaps this market decline is actually an opportunity in disguise. That's right. As Warren Buffett once said, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. So the best time to buy stocks is right now. And the best stocks to buy are growth stocks. Look, I get it. Growth stocks have taken a beating in 2022. Inflation, supply chain constraints, and the war with Russia and Ukraine. But this downturn may give investors a buying opportunity of a lifetime while stock prices are low. So if you're interested in stocks with huge upside potential, watch the entire video. Wait a minute, who are you? I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. Without further ado, here are the 10 best growth stocks to buy right now for massive returns. Number 10, Lantheus. Lantheus is a global diagnostics and research company. Basically, they make products that help doctors and hospitals diagnose and treat people with heart disease, cancer, and several other diseases. For example, when an oncologist needs a radioactive diagnostic agent to use for a PET scan in the context of making a prostate cancer diagnosis, the hospital can buy an injection called Polarify from Lantheus. The company also sells hardware generators which hospitals can use to create their own radioisotopes for imaging. Look, you don't need to know what all these medical terms mean or what these products are good for. All you need to know is that hospitals need them in perpetuity if they want to be able to diagnose patients, which means Lantheus' revenue base is highly recurring. Speaking of revenue, last year Lantheus brought in more than $425 million in total revenue, 25.3% more than in the prior year, largely due to Polarify. Revenue is expected to increase to as much as $710 million in 2022. The success of Polarify has helped Lantheus to be one of the best performing stocks in 2022, up over 130%. For those looking for a promising growth stock, you might want to take a look at Lantheus. At number 9, we have Pinduoduo. Pinduoduo is a Chinese e-commerce platform that offers a range of products, including apparel, food, and household goods. So check this out. Even though Pinduoduo was founded in 2015, it quickly rose to become China's third largest e-commerce company after Alibaba and JD.com. But here's the kicker. It's growing faster than both of them. In the second quarter of 2022, Pinduoduo's revenue grew 36% year over year. If you exclude merchandise sales, revenue rose even more, up 49%. Compare that to Alibaba, which reported flat revenue, and JD.com, which grew around 5%. You're probably thinking, why is Pinduoduo so popular? So part of the firm's appeal is its ability to offer group buying options. Basically, group buying options is a very popular trend in China where friends or neighbors purchase products together to get bigger discounts. Pinduoduo is also in the process of entering the North American market as a way to diversify from its domestic economy. So for those looking for an e-commerce stock with huge upside potential, Put Pinduoduo on your shopping list. Coming in at number 8, we have Star Surgical. Star makes implantable lenses for people with myopia. Basically, people who are nearsighted or shortsighted. 
Their implantable lenses replace other corrective technology like contact lenses or glasses. Now, most people with myopia probably won't get implantable lenses given the fact that it's a surgical procedure. However, the global market for vision correction is estimated at 70 billion. So if Star just grabs a small slice of the pie, they could make billions. Speaking of money, what are your sales? Good question. From 2017 to 2021, Star's revenue rose with a compound annual growth rate of 26%, and it's expected to grow by 28% this year. But wait, there's more. Right now, Star is trying to expand in the rapidly growing market for implantable lenses in China, where it held a 20% market share as of 2020. So if you're looking for a monster growth stock that's profitable, growing, has minimal debt, and a capable management team, invest in Star Surgical. At number seven, we have EPAM. EPAM provides digital platform engineering and software development services, in addition to specializing in artificial intelligence, smart automation, robotics, and virtual reality. Here's an example. Let's say a company doesn't have the expertise necessary to create the technical solutions they want. Should they give up? No. And we never give up. It's all about never giving in. They will most likely hire an IT consulting firm like EPAM to design, create, and operate that solution. In the second quarter of 2022, revenue rose 36% year over year to 1.2 billion, and management gave third quarter guidance for 22% growth. Not only is EPAM growing fast, it's also profitable. EPAM's growth has helped them become one of the strongest brands in the IT industry. In fact, EPAM was named the top IT services company on the Fortune 100 fastest growing companies list for the third consecutive year. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. The stock has produced gains of roughly 350% in the last five years, making EPAM one of the best under the radar growth stocks on the market right now. Coming in at number six, we have Fortinet. Fortinet is a cybersecurity firm. They provide broad, integrated, and automated cybersecurity solutions to enterprises, service providers, and government entities worldwide. So basically, their goal is to stop a hacker. The hacker to you. The cybersecurity firm continues to win deals for offering their unique cybersecurity solutions, which ensure the blocking of attacks or malicious content. The number of deals valued at more than $1 million grew from 198 in 2019 to 350 in 2021. Customers receiving annual billings of more than $1 million increased 93% over that same time frame. Large enterprise customers now account for 40% of all customers. These deals helped Fortinet's revenue to increase by 29% year over year to 1.03 billion. Also, Fortinet's management expects revenue to increase at a compound annual growth rate of 22% through 2025. Fortinet is also profitable. In fact, Fortinet has posted a profit and positive free cash flow every year since its 2009 IPO. And with the constant fear of cyber threats, coupled with the rise of remote work, Fortinet is bound to benefit from security and networking products, making Fortinet one of the best growth stocks to buy right now. At number five, we have Paycom. Paycom provides cloud-based human capital management solutions for small to mid-sized companies in the United States. Basically, they help businesses manage the entire employee life cycle, from hiring all the way to retirement from a single platform. Come on, man! That's too easy! Paycom is also an innovator in the human capital management space. For example, Paycom recently launched Betty, the first self-service payroll software in the human capital management industry. Betty effectively automates payroll by requiring employees to review and approve their paychecks prior to processing. That reduces the burden on HR personnel, which helps businesses operate more efficiently. That was easy. Because of Betty, Fast Company recognized Paycom as one of the world's most innovative companies in 2022. It was the only HR and payroll technology company to receive that honor.
Paycom's revenue surged 30.9% in the first quarter to $316.9 million. It generates free cash and has a strong cash-rich balance sheet. The firm ended the second quarter with $279 million of cash and equivalents against $29 million of total debt. For those looking for one of the best growth stocks to buy and hold, look no further than Paycom. Coming in at number 4, we have Enphase Energy. Now, you might think Enphase sells solar panels. It doesn't. Instead, it sells inverters, a piece of technology that may even be more important at this point in the solar power era. Here's the thing. One of the biggest challenges of renewable energy sources is their intermittency. Since the sun eventually sets, proponents of renewables have to find ways to store energy during down periods. That's where Enphase comes in. Enphase's IQ8 microconverters don't just convert the sun's rays into electricity. They're part of a smart system that optimizes the collection of this energy and when applicable, stores it for use when the sun isn't shining. The company's IQ systems also integrate with electric vehicle charging stations and all of its functions can be managed with the smartphone. So far, Enphase has installed more than 45 million microinverters on over 2 million homes and businesses. On the fundamentals front, the company's revenue increased 68% year over year to 530.2 million in the second quarter. In addition, Enphase generated free cash flow of 192 million. Cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities ended the quarter at 1.25 billion. Enphase is a no-brainer growth stock to add to your portfolio for massive returns. At number three, we have Datadog. Datadog basically helps companies monitor their entire network to detect issues using real-time dashboards. For example, if a company's user is in a specific geographic location where they encounter issues that don't affect the rest of the customer base, Datadog helps the company ensure these issues are alerted and resolved within minutes. Datadog is so successful at what it does, it's been acknowledged by research firm Gartner as the leader in application performance monitoring and observability for 2022. And the market for observability and performance monitoring is massive. Datadog believes its current opportunity is worth $42 billion, and it's predicted to rise to $53 billion by 2025. Now, let's talk numbers. Datadog grew its customer base 29% over the past year, and the average customer increased spending by more than 30%. In turn, revenue climbed 79% to $1.4 billion, and free cash flow soared 168% to 354 million. Datadog is generating more cash than its two main rivals, Dynatrace and New Relic, combined. If you're looking for a high quality stock with high revenue growth, tons of free cash flow, and a large addressable market, you regret passing up on Datadog. Coming in at number two is Tesla. Tesla specializes in electric vehicles, renewable energy storage, and solar panel manufacturing. In regards to electric vehicle charging, Tesla has over 35,000 supercharged stations worldwide. This makes them the largest owner and operator of fast charging networks globally. Tesla is also the market leader in battery-powered electric car sales in the United States, with roughly 70% market share. The company's flagship Model 3 is the best-selling EV model in the United States. And if we look at Tesla's fundamentals, the company's balance sheet boasts $18.3 billion of cash and cash equivalents. The company's sales are also soaring. Trailing 12-month revenue is $67 billion, up from $54 billion in 2021 and close to $32 billion in 2020. Tesla also has a huge addressable market. Just how big is the market for cars? Well, in 2022, a year that new car sales have been hammered by global supply chain challenges, global vehicle sales are estimated to be about 80.8 million, according to estimates by JD Power. Tesla's 2021 unit deliveries were under 1 million units, showing just how much room Tesla has to grow. This makes Tesla a no-brainer growth stock to add to your portfolio. And the number one growth stock to buy right now is... 
Say my name. ASML. You're goddamn right. ASML designs and manufactures semiconductor production equipment. It specializes in designing machines geared for extreme ultraviolet lithography, where light sources are used to photoreactively create patterns on wafers that become printed circuits. Huh? Basically, all you need to know is that extreme ultraviolet lithography is the most expensive step in making the advanced microchips that power data centers, cars, and iPhones. And the machines are made by only one company, ASML. Because of their monopoly on the market, you should consider ASML as one of the no-brainer long-term stocks to buy for massive returns. There it is. I just told you the 10 best growth stocks to buy right now. And with that, my job here is finished. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. If you want to start investing, check out my video on how to start investing as a beginner. I break down everything you need to know from A to Z. Thanks for watching.